<sighs> okay, so we went from uh, 71 drops straight into 78. My two watchstone drops spawn immediately into the highest <laughs> map possible. <laughs> um, it's gonna be... It's gonna be interesting. Because my gear hasn't like... I haven't gained any damage since the... Since that drugs fight. I mean, it's not that bad. Just need to make sure that I destroy those. Oh yeah, I should probably use my wall haste. Wait! No law breaking here. Okay, now we destroy all of these. Let's go here first. Kinda wish I had a Predator support for this fight. So I could force them to fight the like target specific things. Like my wand? My wand is great, okay. No bully. My gear is amazing, okay? So I actually kind of want to get him all the way to the uh, side here. I should have actually done that at the start of the fight instead of staying in the middle. I must have time to gather my will. I should probably make sure that they are actually targeting him properly. Splits a lot of damage, like the, the random ads, because I didn't move him to the corner. Man, the leap from uh, the wagon level 1 T4 Drox to T11 is pretty big. It's not, a, it's not really a hard fight when you just know how to dodge all the stuff, but... Man, did he gain late HP from the, uh, the D4 to that. I need my chest piece badly. It's like uh, a lot of more damage. T10... Baran boy. No upgrade still. Well, we have Uberlap done, so I guess I have better... I have better uh, charge sustain, I guess. I'm supposed to. Ow! I was not supposed to stand still like that. It wasn't very smart. No, you. I am no beast of burden. I mean, it wasn't really hard. T9 Hunter. A lot of upgrades actually since then. We got a Yink Yuyu. Got a nice level 21 Spectre. Got a. I guess this is technically the 6 link, even though the Call to Fire is kind of useless. But yeah. All of my gems are kind of low level though. So that's. Uh, and I'm using Ice Bite instead of Hyper. I should probably have a Hypothermia for a, like a swap or something. But, or Cold Pen here. Uh, but I'm just like, kind of, whatever. Should still definitely be faster than the Drox fight. Hopefully. I'm faster. I mean, yeah, definitely. Out, 
I like how he couldn't figure out which way to go. Oh no, I'm gonna lose my zombies. Or am I? Holy shit. Only one? Only one of them died. That's pretty pog. Actually pretty pog. I expected much more of them to die. Well, okay, two died. Okay, now the same tier. But, uh, Redeemer. I'm gonna try uh, Sniper's Mark, it's a low level. And I took away the Cold to Fire, and I'm using cold, low level Cold Pen. I think this might feel better, even though I'll lose the socket, but the cold to fire is kind of bad if you're trying to uh, have the pen on them. I really wish I had a white socket. Like the damage is good when they actually do it. I was about to say, I wish I had uh, the extra white socket, the white socket or blue socket there. I could uh, slap in death mark or like predator support to force them to actually hit it. Because I was, I went too far, so they didn't actually do anything. My first three watchstone fight, Teal and Veritania. I got the chest, some random low level predator and cold pen. I normally use high spine and minion damage, and I'm too lazy to recolor my my want to be able to put sniper mark. So I'll just go with <laughs> I'll just go with the high spine. I'm oh, sorry, frostbite. I think I shall my torture you this time. Okay, let's not use AG in this fight. Keep forgetting to put the mark on. I shall free you. The thrill of victory shall forever be your prison. Would have been quite the uh, spit on the face if uh, I think this would have given me immediately the the blind. <laughs> After spending like 200 alts on the AG chest. This was the original plan, is to get blue, 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 green, green, and then whatever here. This could have been red. And then white socket. And then hope that one of the, the greens would go white. Calm down. Calm down, roommate. Okay, okay. Please go white there, okay? Please. No! No! Uh, they're so close too, also. Feels bad, man. Rank 3, Borici and gave me 1. God damn it. It's got scammed. The, before this 3 Watchstone Baron, the highest level fight was... The 78, I think? Yeah, T11. So... Quite a difference. Low level Copen. Have a Predator at least this time, but that's kinda nice. Let's see how this goes. Mm, oh my golem is gonna die. I mean it doesn't really matter too much. The golem dies. Spent. 
Pretty easy. Rip my low level chaos column though. Yo, what up? So as you can see, we got some uh, with some upgrades. Uh, the shield is just an MTX right now, but it's still the line on Samars. Found a Jinx Yuyu. This was from this was just a random heist, and then I uh, anointed utmost might, which is. 40 flat strength and 8% percentage, and it's super cheap as you can see, it's only basically a, a crimson. And this was like 120 or 130 life for me, which is pretty good. Because uh, of a nice class jewel setup. This was just one bound and pristine. I think I got a bit lucky with that. But yeah, so that's decent. So I respect I respect out redemption and righteous army. Get this so now I have a randomized jewel there. Uh, this was originally just life and taunt, then I re got hinder, which I don't need. I have hinder here, uh, and I do need the dexterity right now from it, so I can't even take it out. And I want to keep this because of the taunt was the primary reason. Then they have some random life attributes again for the dexterity. Uh, I respect some of the small life nodes out. To get uh, combat stamina because this is just a lot of armor, right? Currently, I am almost 14k armor, and then when my molten shell broke, that's like 16.6k. So we get like 3k, and then with uh, with granites on top of that, we are at like uh, like 27k ish. So that we're I'm feeling really tanky, uh, and then the next three levels are just gonna be light. So. By the time I'm level 94 and I have all of the life nodes, so that life node and these two here, I'm gonna be like 7.7 something K life, I think. Maybe even a bit more. Uh, got a trigger. Uh, in the trigger, I'm using Desecrate, Frostbite, and Flesh Suffering. So this, it feels so much smoother to play now, since I don't need to sell caps the, the stuff anymore. Uh, it's... The wand is just, I guess it's okay to... It's kind of nice sometimes to get Endurance Shards before I actually get it from the Stormbrand and uh, Harmony of Purpose. But I have a permanent, basically permanent uptime of 5 Endurance Charges at all times uh, during mapping and any boss fight because my Stormbrand keeps them up from Harmony of Purpose. So that's nice. As that. Oh, so the, the wand is from the heist, so I've yet to get the EE Scepter. I've done like maybe three or four blueprints where you can get the uh, the new item bases. I really want the EE. Like right now it would just straight up give me a skill point for implicit, which is very nice. I could... I could put a little more life, uh, I could get the retribution back for some extra life and damage and whatnot. Uh, I got really lucky with my lion eyes, as, as you saw from the clip. So that was, I think that was probably like five, six hundred crumbs used total, whereas two of those was from the three blue, uh, three blue force, and as you see, we didn't get lucky. Uh, with the white socket and hit it on the on the green. If we had, this would be a six off color, which would be very nice. This was a rank three Morigi, yeah. So it could have given me three white spot. And so the currently the links are red spectre. And yeah, as you saw, we also have level twenty one, so that's really nice. Pinpoint spell echo minion damage, which I swap to uh, predator whenever I'm doing. Like a boss where I want them to always focus on that. For example, the the Ice Lady uh, Redeemer. It's really nice to have that on them so I can run around and they still keep doing damage. Because if I don't, then they will sometimes start following me. And then the last link for mapping is Ice Bite. 
And Ice White is a very, very underrated support for a lot of minion builds, I feel like. Um, you get three friendly charges for them. Like, this is 15% chance to freeze. And then combine it with my uh, Frostbite, which, ha which has, like, what, 25%? So they have 40% chance to freeze anything that is, you know, cursed. So they have very good uptime on the friendly charges. And the damage is high enough that I can kill map bosses while they have their charges. So, yeah, that's pretty good. And then for bosses, I'm currently just swapping a cold pen in there. And uh, if I had another white socket, I would change the frostbite. I would make this into one white. So I could have the sniper's mark. Like, sniper's mark is so much more damage than frostbite is. But I'm kind of lazy about switching, and the damage feels good enough that I don't feel like I need to do it. Uh, I found another uh, Lion Eyes from, I believe, Heist. I don't think I'm gonna gonna try to get more off colors on this or anything like that. It's just better rolled. By the way, I'm too divine into this now. So, feels bad, man. Uh, other than that... I guess my search quickly on Atlas. I currently have the eight, nine, ten, eleven. Wait, four, eight, nine, ten, thirteen. I have fifteen stones. Uh, I believe this is the last. So this is the first. First, uh, four watchstone fight and. Uh, I actually have another map here. Yeah, I have the spider, spider layer already, which uh, is one of the maps here. And after that, I only need to get a random T15. So then, actually, wait, no, I think arcade is T13 as a base, I think. But yeah, either way, I need to only complete few maps. I, I have race course, I have orchard, caldera, it's very easy to get. And then we get the first favorite, which I'll just slap into scriptorium. And... Uh, at that point, I think I'll probably do so that I'll have Titan Tower, Titan Cells, and Scriptorium, with Scriptorium having the the fra favorite. Uh, and then occasionally try to get the uh, Spider Layer. Also, yeah, the Flooded Mine needs to be, I think it's like T11 or T12. But the, the issue with this is that these three maps is that I need also four, sorry, uh, Arcade as well. I need to get them Corrupted Rare. Uh, after I get that, then we have two of the favorites, and that's gonna be more than enough for me to just like go and blast some scriptoriums and then occasionally okay, cells and towers. And uh, that's when the Operation Shavron's Wrappings starts, is when we get those few maps. And uh, sadly, that's a T16, not a 15, but I think I might have a Harpy Orb somewhere. Uh, never mind, I don't. Uh, yeah. After that, we'll go on full full speed on the scriptorium farm. Get uh, the shavs. We're currently one offering only, and as you can see, I've only done like eight maps that could drop me the offering. I'm six bone crypts in, so yeah. I think that was really much it for this update. There's nothing. Not much has happened. Uh. Oh, then obviously the Jinx U was really, really amazing. And having the uh, Line Eyes. And now we have some random Anime Guardian. I guess I should tell you what I Anime Guardian has. Uh, the Anime Guardian currently has a Blind Redeemer uh, chest, which took me like 250 alts to get. The average is like 150 or something. He has a Skull Head, which is basically useless, it's just some life and resist. He has the Culling Strike Dagger, sorry, not Dagger, the Axe, I don't remember the name of it. Uh, and it doesn't really feel like it's doing anything useful. Has some random Victarious Flight and South Band. So it's, if it dies, then whatever, so be it. Uh, I just wanted to get it in for the extra movement speed. And I guess the Culling Strike. Uh, I just don't have any other items for him. Uh, there are a few options, so if I were to get, like, just corrupt some random clubs with Enfeeble on hit, uh, that would be very nice, but then I would also have to get him a plus one curse item, which you, you can get. Like, if you were, to, if I were to find the the boots that can give him plus one curse, then I could have double curse on all bosses where one of them is enfeeble. 
But again, I don't feel like I really need it. But yeah. Hopefully the next update will have a few more uh few more of these uh div cards from down here. Yeah, I'll see you guys on uh, the next Actually before I go, I'm gonna respond to some of the questions uh both from the first and the second video. And if you have any, just uh, let them, you know, drop them below and uh, I'll try to answer them in the next video. So I have a question from uh, Steven Shear. Do you feel uh, the defenses are sufficient on a Guardian versus Necro to survive prior to the low life transition? Uh, losing the bonus frame future mitigation from Necro is a big hit. Yeah, uh, it is good enough. Uh, I have actually not had any kind of trouble with this build so far, and I've already done like T15 or whatnot. Having the harmony, I mean, well, first of all, you can get a lot of. You can go block with Passion of Hope if you really want to. You can go take Sanctuary, you can take Lancing Blows. So it's not bad. And in some variations, you could also go all the way here and get Arcane Garden and Mystic Bulwark. And then you would just go through here to get the life here and here instead. Uh, instead of going all the way here. And uh, yeah, I'm not running the uh, the Enduring Crime anymore. Instead, I'm running Molden Shell. And I have the storm brand that basically guarantees the the permanent five for entering charges at all times. So no, uh, it definitely feels sufficient enough. Uh, I wouldn't be going for a vacant or anything like that until the low life setup or the CI setup. Not because I'm too afraid of my character. If I'm ailment immune, which I can get by crafting here, here, and then getting glass jewel and boots. Uh, I I personally would be fine, but I would fear for my minions a bit. Uh, that's where Necro is really good. Is you get the uh, I don't remember the name of the skill anymore. Bone armor that uh, can like removes bleeds. Uh, so the corrupting blood from Awakener is not nearly as bad for your minions as it is for me. Another question was, would you swap to Syndicate operatives if you found them? And no, there's a few reasons. The one is they feel awfully inconsistent. So they have this, uh, this attack where, well, they have like two, like they have default attack. So if they're close to your, close to a target, they're just default attacking and that deals like zero damage. And then the, their actual attack that does a lot of damage is they like throw the knives that can like shotgun but they only do that when they're far enough from the target so you need to make sure that you place them properly with convocation f for good boss damage versus these guys they just always do the same they don't they don't really care uh, they don't have like a downside like the melee on the syndicate guys and then you kind of there's like either either you go impale with the syndicate operatives, which has a long ramp up before it actually starts doing good damage, uh, or you go full conversion and for that you want to use triad grip. And I just really, I I'd rather have a good clone instead of triad clip grip, and the, the damage on these characters is good enough. Even though the Syndicate guys do have better damage when they shotgun their uh, their their uh, knives properly, and then honestly, the the main reason why I don't want to use the Syndicate guys is that when you encounter this nice little bubble on enemies, it just completely breaks your build. Uh, because you need to convocate them inside the bubble, unless you have very strong zombies, which I don't have. Uh, for some necro builds, you can have them, but especially when I'm going hour stacking, I won't have links for the zombies. I mean, even no, now I don't have links for the zombies. Uh, so, when you encounter proximity shields, you need to go inside them and then convocate your monsters in there so they can even do damage to them. And most of the time when you do that, they are too close, so they just go melee instead of using their actual ability. So that makes them feel absolutely awful. Whenever you sex on maps and you get the fish 
uh, monsters that have proximity shields or nemesis or anything like that. So no, I would not use them. I've tried them and I like these guys over them.